Hey guys, it's Heather from Tomatoes, Poppies, and Everything Gardening. Today we're going to talk about coleus. And, uh, yeah. Today's September the 10th, and this section here in the corner, it's all shade, is where I have had a coleus experiment running. And um, you're seeing the after. So here in a minute, I'm going to kind of go back in time and with some pictures and video explain to you what I did to get this corner looking as it does right now. You can see my hellebore is now visible. I've got a corabelle and primrose down in there. And then some coleus that I trimmed very, very aggressively. So let's pause here and we're going to go back in time going to explain why I've got this situation going on here and why it's a benefit to do this every now and then with your coleus. What started this coleus cleanup was that this large chunk of a coleus plant broke off during a storm we had, a really rough storm, and I didn't want to waste it. So I started to cut it into sections so that I could have new plants from these cuttings. Cut it similarly to how you might cut basil. Um, and that's what I did. So I got like five cuttings off of this plant. And I went down by the driveway on the left in the shade of this red twig dogwood. And I planted those cuttings directly. I'm going to keep them moist and hope that they will root. And so now we're going to go back up by the side of the house in the shade where I keep the coleus and these planters. We're going to start cutting. And uh, it was good that I decided to do this because... I think I had some stink bugs, um, not stink bugs, I'm sorry, squash bugs, hiding in all of this extra foliage. So it was a good thing that I decided to do the cuttings and clean up these planters. You can see I kind of just went wild, <laughs> but I got tons of cuttings. And look, this is open now. Um, this is a primrose, it's got airflow. My hellebore was happy to get a little break from all the coleus taken over. I did go ahead and fertilize both planters a little. This is the after, and I know it looks scary right now, but trust me, guys, come back on a garden tour in a week or two, well, more, more like a month, and you will see that it is looking really pretty, really lush again. So this is a coleus that I broke off the plant several weeks ago. It was an accident. I didn't want to throw it out, so I just dropped it into this container of water, just rainwater. Um, and then I forgot about it and look at all the roots. So that's about three weeks of roots. I'm gonna go put him in the ground somewhere. And then these are the ones that I cut off of my coleus plants as we were doing some pruning. And we're gonna go plant those right now on the side of the house in the shade. So this is the shaded, neglected side of my house. And you can see, I tried to put in some coleus the other day, and the carpenter ants ran me off. But we had another storm come through last night. The ground's really wet. So I'm hoping they will not bother me today, and I can finish putting some of these cuttings all along right here. Just doing a quick little weeding, and then using this tool I found on the side of the road. It's like an old-fashioned tire tool to poke a hole um, and then I'm putting the cutting down in the hole. Hopefully this area will stay moist and roots will grow quickly because I have not rooted them in water. We're just gonna let it happen in the ground. But look at this cool spider. I'm going to share with you another section of coleus I have 
This is at the front of my house on one half of my walkway um, to the right of the house. So I have a mix of self-seeded coleus that just kind of grew on its own. You can see the flower stalks that it produces. If you don't cut those off, they will produce seeds that will drop to the ground and hopefully it will self-seed next year. And the pollinators do love those flowers. So I do leave some. However, I'm kind of showing you where I'm thinking I'm going to have to trim a little bit, um, especially along the walkway because some of these are getting really, really tall. Now these guys are in the very back of this flower bed area in the corner of my house where it's shaded, almost full shade. And they look so much more vibrant and colorful and beautiful, almost like velvet. You just want to reach out and rub them. Um, so they like the shade. That's it for this video guys, but please share your tips below for coleus and I will love to hear from you soon.